hi how are you today good evening teacher how are you good evening how are you nice to see you me too ready ready yes Um, One minute. Okay, now we're ready. I'm going to call you and you tell me present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, partner. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Yeah, really, ready. Excellent. For the class. Excellent. So there, I'm going to call you. So let's see who are here already. Okay, let's see. Beja Lisbeth. Beja Beja. No here. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Darling. Hi, teacher. Present. Okay. Denny Saronay. Denny, teacher. Ay, Edgar Eduardo. Present, teacher. Great. Uh, Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Nice, Gabby. Jessica. Jessica Raquel. Me vinieron a provocar. <ríe> Jessica, Jessica. Carla María. Present. Kelly Marcel. Good evening, teacher. Present. Marcelo Vladimir. Marcelo. Mauricio Devani. Miguel Efraín. Presente, teacher. Moisés Elías. Moisés, Moisés. Norma Marita. Presente, teacher. I'm driving go in this oh. moment. Okay, Norma. I hope you get home soon. Okay. Let's see, Pedro Antonio, I see you somewhere there. Pedro. Present teacher. Nice, Pedro, you're working, Pedro. Are you working? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Ronald Josué. Ronald. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Nice. Tamara Lisset. Tamara. Waldemar. Present teacher. Walter Antonio. Okay. Well, we are 18. Wow, that's good number. We're missing how many people are we missing? Let's see. Uh, Marcelo, hello. We're missing four, right? 
were free. Hi, Carlos. Walter, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Nice to see you. It's our second day of the week. And we continue talking about the past, right? This is our unit uh, of passive. So if you have any questions about yesterday's uh, class, don't doubt to us, right? Anyway, we're going to have a review of what we studied yesterday before we enter in more detail uh, to talk about this simple past negative. Okay. So today, as I said, we're talking about the simple past. We have the simple past of the verb to be and the simple past of other verbs, right? In negative, talking about negative. Yesterday, we were working with the affirmative and we are going to, to give a little review of the previous exercise. Okay? But, and this is the objective for today. Participants will be able to write three sentences using the past to be and the simple past in negative way Correct. Okay, and individually. So uh, you need to be able to write sentences into the negative uh, without help of anybody right along. Let's see. So just retaking yesterday's class, remember we said that the, with the verb to be, all you have to do is watch when a subject is singular, because with singular we use was, right? And with plural, we are going to use where. So we have plural, we have where. Remember that you, um, you can be singular or can be plural, right? Depends if I'm talking about you, one person, or you as all of you, right? So it will depend. It doesn't matter if I'm talking about the you singular or the you plural with you, we are going to use where, okay? But with singular nouns we are or, or pronouns, we are going to use this. For example, if you say Maria, Maria was, yeah, Maria was, the doll was. Yeah, so you can substitute the noun, the pronoun by a noun, and you have to take into account if it is singular, we use was. But for example, if you say the dogs, it's no singular anymore. Right? If we talk about plural, we use where. Okay, so just keep that into mind. Singular was, plural, where. Now, as in the case of using the verb to be in present, it is the same here, right? We use the verb to be plus an adjective. So you say she was sleepy. She was wrong. We were happy, right? So we use the verb to be with adjectives. We also use the verb to be plus a noun. They were teachers. I was a secretary, he was a boy, he was a little boy, right? So with nouns I use, I use the verb to be plus nouns also. And I use the verb to be plus place. I was in France in June, she was at home. They were at school, she was in the park. We were at the beach. Right, so verb to be plus adjectives, 
to describe uh, something from the past, of course, because we're talking about the past. Uh, we also use the verb to be plus noun to say, uh, for example, probations that somebody had in the past. And we also use it to talk about places, right? About places. And remember us, what we said yesterday, if we are using place and time, the time will always be at the end. So I put first the place and then the time at the end. I don't know if you have any question here. Question? Question. No? No question. No, por the moment, teacher. Okay. Now, uh, remember, we were also talking about the rules, the spelling rules, to form the regular <laughs> verbs, right? To make regular verbs in past. And we said that with, uh, with verbs, sorry, that finishing me, I'm just going to add D, right? So you have agree, agreed, like, like, escape, escaped, dance, danced, loved, loved, hate, hated, because they are already finishing. And for the ones that go with consonant, vowel, consonant, we said that we double the last consonant. We double the last consonant and then we add it, right? So you say stop, stopped, plan, planned. I double the end and then I add it. Mop, mopped, and chop, chopped, right? So, but remember, you should have consonant, vowel, consonant. If you have that, you double the second consonant before adding the ED. Yeah? Okay, another rule that we were mentioning yesterday is that when I have a Y, right, a verb finishing in Y, but the previous letter is a consonant, so I have consonant plus Y, I will change the consonant the Y to I, and then I add ED. So I say try, tried, carry, carried, cry, cried, and marry, marry. Yes? But we said that in the case of the verbs that finish in Y, but before Y, they have a little A, a, a vowel, like in the case of place and enjoy, we only add it in, right? In this case, I don't change the Y to Y. I only add ED to make the past. Okay, any questions so far? We're just reviewing right now, right? We're just reviewing. But if you have any questions, let me know. Mm -hmm. No question? No. Okay, well, I have an exercise for you. So what you're going to do here is complete the sentences using the, using the verbs in the past. Okay. Complete the sentences. I'm going to give you about three, four minutes for you to do it and then we check.
Let me know when you finish. Uh, teacher, number one, the cat escaped from the garden. Uh -huh. The cat escaped from the garden. Very okay. well. I forgot the, the pronunciation of the last letter. Okay. Don't worry, with the time, you're going to get familiarized with that. Okay. Number two, they agree with me about the album. Mm -hmm. Yes, they agreed with me about the album. Very good. Okay. What about number three? He tried to start the car. Tried to start the car. Very good. We enjoyed. We enjoyed what? The phone her a lot. Yeah, we enjoy the fun fair a lot. Very good. What about number five? Tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Very good. Number six. I... He stopped... Stopped. He's, she stopped. Mm -hmm. Yes, she stopped at the zebra crossing. What is zebra crossing? Do you remember? What, what is zebra crossing? Um, are the lines of the cross the street? Ex exactly, the lines where you cross the street. Very good. Uh huh. What about number seven? Teacher, una consulta antes, antes de eso. Es la Dígame. pronunciación de stop. stop. Ok, ok. Llega a eso. Ok, perfecto. Ajá, es de pronunciación like this. Ok, ok. Stop. Gracias. Number seven. I carry on working on the until late. 
Mm -hmm. I carried on working on to late. Very good. Okay. And the last one, number eight. John failed. failed his driving test again. I had to wish it. <laughs> he failed again. Okay, repeat after me. The cat escaped from the garden. The cat, cat escaped, escaped, escaped from, from, the garden. from the garden. They agreed with me about that album. They agreed, they agreed with me about, with me about the album. The, the album. He tried to start the car. He, he tried, tried to start, to start the, car. the car. We enjoyed the fun for a lot. We is, enjoyed, enjoyed the, the fun for a lot. a lot. We enjoyed the fun for a lot. Tell and me what happened. Tell me tell what, me what happened. 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 Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. She stopped. At the zebra crossing. She stopped at zebra crossing. I carried on working until late. I carried on working until late. John failed his driving test again. John failed his driving test again. Okay. Very good. Now, look at this. I have here a list of verbs. If you see, they are not all, they are many, many verbs. But I have a list of, like we can say the most, the most common ones, right? That we can use. In irregular, of course. In irregular. Repeat, go, go, go. went. 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 Go went. Go went. went. Swim swam. Swim, swim swam. swam. It ate. It, it ate. ate. It ate. It, it, it ate. ate. Drink drank. Drink drank. Drink drank. Drink drank. Begin began. Begin began. Begin, began. Begin, began. Begin began. Begin began. began. Think thought. Think, think thought. Think thought. Think think thought. By boat. By by boat. By boat. By by boat. Do deal. Do deal. Do deal. Do deal. Do deal. Bring brat. Bring bring brat. Bring brat. Fly flew. Fly flew. Fly flew. Fly flew. Grow grew. Grow grew. Grow grew. Grow grew. Great grot. Great grot. Great grot. Great grot. Meet met. Meet met. Meet met. Meet met. Run run. Run run. Run run. Run run. Sing sang. Sing sang. Sing sang. Sing sang. Read read. Read read. Let let. Let let. Let let. Let let. Cut cut. cut, 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 cast, 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 cast. Leave left, leave left, leave left, leave left, fall, fail, fall, fail, fall, fail, fall, fail, feel felt, feel felt, feel felt, feel felt, see so. Okay, these are regular verbs, but 
even if you notice, there are some verbs that follow like a pattern, we can say. Thought, check. Thought, but, brought. Yeah? Thought, but, brought. That's a, um, like a clue, right? Something that can help you remember the verbs, right? So if you remember that think, buy, and bring have the same, we can say similar spelling at the moment of, of putting them into past, that would be easy for you to remember. But both wrote. Here we have flu, you see flu, grew. We also have in this in this way, new. Yeah. So you can uh, remember the, the, the end, the spelling, right? Flew, grew, new. Flew, grew, new. Sang, sang, sing, sang, bring, run. Yeah. So they get the same, uh, we can say the same spelling at the end, right? But the sound is kind of similar. Yeah. Also keep into mind, and, and that's why I have put them in this order, check. Let, cut, and cost, they have exactly the same, uh, the same present is the past, right? Present and past are the same. Let, 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 cut, cut, cast, cast. So there is no change. In the case of read, the spelling is the same, but the pronunciation is different, right? But the spelling is similar. So you have read, read, same spelling, different pronunciation. But in the case of let, cut, and cost, same spelling, same pronunciation in present, in past, and in past participle. Right? So that's something that you can uh, like keep in mind at the moment of reviewing the verbs, right? I don't know if you have any question at this point. Mm -hmm. No questions. No? No, no? Or a simulator. No questions? Any questions? Now, I have here uh, some sentences for you to work. What you're going to do here, check. It's not that you will put them in order, no, because they are in order, right? What you have to do is write the sentences using these words uh, in the simple past, right? But check that some cases there is something that you will need to add. And if you need to add that, mm, it can be a, a particle, an article, a preposition or something, add. So add whatever is necessary. But remember, the sentences are in order. I'm going to make the first one for you, you see? I, to be, was, interested, Product, product, pero aquí nos falta una preposición y un arco, ¿verdad? Entonces usted le va a agregar lo que le haga falta a la oración, al, ah, a la oración, ¿verdad? Al momento de ser. ¿Están en orden? Sí, están en orden las palabras, pero le falta algo, ¿sí? Que ese algo que, que le falta es lo que usted le va a poner, aparte de poner el verbo en ¿verdad? Because you're making past. Ah, it, it is already given in past. The present is give, right? So you have give. It's in present. Okay? Y aquí ya se lo dieron en past. 
Vaya, I'm going to send you to the rooms uh, for you to work together and help each other when writing the question, the sentences. So, you're joining. Ready, ready, no questions. No? No question. Yes. Let's join. Don't join. Try to join Sabrina, Pedro, Norma. Aunque vayan a oír, porque yo sé que algunos están ahí ocupaditos, pero únanse al grupito aunque vayan a escuchar. Hi, hi, Walter. Eh, sí, o pasarlo, eh, ponerlo en pasado y agregarle algunas eh, preposiciones o lo que le falta para completar de lleno ahí la, la oración. La oración. ¿En qué página del manual está, don Germán? <ríe> Yo lo estoy buscando ahorita, que le digo, no lo encuentro. Vamos a ver. Eh, uña, yo no he retirado, no, no he comenzado ahí mis páginas, pues no las he rotulado. Bueno, te pedí. Bueno, ahorita vamos a ver. Eh, dice de la unidad 3, el ejercicio 4. ¿Alguien le está comiendo las cúpulas? De la unidad. Peri, peri, peri. peri. O sea, ¿cómo volví el hombre? Me gustó, me parecí. ¿Cómo volví? Sí. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué? ¿Y a quién anda hoy? ¿Está sentada María en la sombra? Sí, yo aquí he estado siempre presente, sí. Solo que... Pichero, yo tengo una... Solo en, el... no. en este módulo le he mantenido la cámara casi apagada, sí. No, yo la estoy molestando a quien andaba oliendo. Pichero, yo tengo una queja. Dígame. Tengo un reclamo. Usted no me pasó en lista a mí. ¿En serio, Germán? Y no me dijo nada. Ay, ay, te terminó de pasar lista y se metió ya en otro. Pero aquí estoy presente ya. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Ay, en serio. En serio. Yo dije, Germán Agustín. No, no digo. No dije. No digo. Hoy no. Ah, ay, qué barbaridad. Bueno. <risa> vaya, vaya, vaya. No, pues, aquí estamos. Ah, ya lo vi, ya le vamos a poner a mí. <risa> Bien, entonces ah, la, la sí. primera al final era hay was I interested in the product. Ahí vean Kelly, en algunos casos les hace falta una preposición. Ahí ustedes se la ponen, así como el ejemplo, en ese caso el in the. Ajá, I am interested in. The. Ajá. Que si no se le para bonito, le sampa. Sí. In the product. Sí, porque les falta. Solo han puesto como las palabras principales, pero les faltan. Ah, pues en la segunda vamos a poner en el verbo by en pasado. Sí. Ah, ¿Tú ¿tú sería you were, ¿verdad? You were. ¿Cuál es el pasado de by? Eh, vamos a ver. By, by it. Me le voy a poner el listadito en el chat, el que acabamos de ver hoy. Ah. 
Siempre mantuve el 10 porque me gustaba hacer las cosas. Pero no te Pero sí, me fastidia. Teacher, una, una pregunta. Dígame. Igual con lo, con lo de los verbos, estos sí, irregulares. Sí. Eh, de los verbos, sí, lo puedo. Eh, read, let, could, cause, esos cambian sí, en, 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 en pasado, cambian solo la, pronuncia, la pronunciación. Eh, read cambia la pronunciación, read, read. Los demás no cambian ni la pronunciación ni el spelling. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí Eso usted es. va a saber que está en pasado por el contexto. Ok. Hi, hi, Waldemar. Hello. Estoy buscando el, el libro, teacher. Es la página 30. Entonces, don Germán, eh, you bought the, 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 the item on December. In December. In December. Uh, In December. Sí. Uy. No puede ser. Entonces Uy. le agrega la, la, la D. Sería la de supervisor. Supervisor. Uh, get, get me a discount. Discount. ¿Cómo, cómo se pronuncia discount? A discount. A discount. Yeah, gave me a discount. The supervised was. The supervised. Están ordenadas, teacher. O oh, hay que ordenarlas. Eh, no, están en orden, pero vean que a veces uh -huh. me falta alguna palabrita. Ah, ok, perfecto. Si sí, es que eso es lo que cuando mencionó arco, yo me quedé arco. Ajá, a algunos sí. les hace falta una palabrita, entonces ahí ustedes se la van. Okay. Ah, ok, perfecto. Me interesa este producto. By the 8th of December. Eh, super. Esa sí está. La número 5 sería de. También este el verbo no, se, se mantiene porque es send. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Y contact. My, my email, ¿verdad? Ajá, en este caso sería they were they, sent the contract my okay. email. Sí, Next. sí, tiene razón. Sí, sí. They were, ajá. ajá. Y en el, en el otro sería he this be, he was he was uh -huh. he was He was. Mm -hmm. He was B. Sí, pero no, no Ajá, recuerdo que B cambia. Vea, pues quiero ver si cambia el B. Sí. Quiero ver. Teacher, hola. En este caso, el be sería el was, ¿verdad? El verbo to be en el cabal, en el que usted lo Ajá, sería, He was the same point. Same point. The sub. The sub. The sub. He was this. Uh, ¿Cuál es el que está? Ah, disappointed. El último. Uh, point, point, he, was, uh -huh. he was disappointed. Pero este no se modifica porque igual termina en ED. Ah, no, es que disappointed es un adjetivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Ok. Y en este caso el verbo es be, pero como la forma de ese verbo es el was. Was, ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. He was disappointed. ¿Verdad? And he was disappointed. Disappointed. Sí. Was disappointed. 
Okay, perfect. Bye. Ay, pi. Pero arriba, este, tengo una duda, ¿ven? o sea, es con, teacher, es con, ahí vi, no cambiaría igual que, que en la número 6. ¿Cuál? En la número, en, en la número 1. No, el, el B cambia a was. A was, ¿verdad? Sí. Was, I was, was. interested. Igual, igual, interested no es verbo, sino que es adjetivo. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Se acuerdan okay. que les dije que el verbo to be lo ocupamos con adjetivo, verdad? Sí, 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 sí. Ese es sí. un adjetivo. Entonces sí cambia eso. I was. I was, exacto. Okay. Okay. I was sí. interested. Vamos a ver la segunda. Esta sí está bien. Este se mantiene. Este se le agrega la D. No sé más dudas en esto. Solo en esa tenía dudas. En la segunda. En la, en la quinta, ¿cómo sería? Solo se le agrega la... En, they were sent. They were... No, ahí no lleva were porque ahí no, no le da verbo to be. Uh -huh. Entonces usted va a decir they... Uh -huh. They qué... Mm. Es que tengo, tengo send, send, no puede ser send, ¿verdad? O send. Ponga el send en pasado. Ok. Sería send. ¿Cuál es send. el pasado de send? Es. Ah. Send es irregular verb. It's irregular, exacto. Se mantiene igual. Sent. No, cambia a sent con terminación ah. di al final en lugar de di. Uh -huh. Di queda con, con ti. Yes. Exactly. En vez de oh, di okay. le pone ti. Sí. Oh, okay. Sí. ok, ahí está la otra. Teacher, porque dijo que no era they were. De no lleva where cuando está usando otro verbo. Mm, entonces, en ese caso solo sería they sent. They sent. Exacto. Sí, okay. lo, lo que pasa es que ahí era, era porque no llevaba tampoco el verbo to be. Por eso no se podía convertir en where, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Que acuérdese que, que el verbo to be no lo ocupa con otro verbo. Porque ahorita estamos hablando de cinco pas, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Entonces no lo ocupamos con otros verbos. Okay. Lo vamos a poner el, el verbo to be cuando la opción que le dan es be. Ok. Perfecto. Quiero ver. Sí, eso está bien. Sí. Entonces, igual es la tercera, Ticha. Porque es casi similar a la, a, al send. Ajá, uh -huh. pero el, el verbo read, read, ¿verdad? El mismo uh -huh. read. O sea, se mantiene el verbo, o sea, igual, en su forma natural, por decirlo Exacto. de esa forma. Ok. Sí. Perfecto. No en forma natural, sino que lo pone en pasado, pero como el pasado se deletrea igual. Igual, ok. Uh -huh. En okay. el caso de los otros, porque cambia. ¿Verdad? Cambia el, el pasado de, de verbos. Pero en el caso de este, no, el, el pasado es exactamente el mismo. Igual. Ajá, se, se deletrea igual. Lo que cambia es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La pronunciación. Read, read. Pero el de le, la forma de escribirla va a ser igual. Ah, eso. ¿Pero por qué read 
o sea, en una red solo por distinguir o, o hay una norma, regla en eso, porque igual a no, la No, es que el pasado del verbo read es red. Red, ok. Ya eso ya está andado, así lo. Ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ahí ya no hay, no hay nada. No hay nada que hacer. Ajá, ya. Con esto ya son dados, entonces ya solo sí. es de aprenderse, no sé si. Sí, es que lo mejor es sacar un listado de los verbos irregulares y de los regulares. Ajá. Y de aprender la terminación de cada uno. Usualmente se encuentran imágenes en las cuales están separados, por ejemplo, los regulares, según la pronunciación. Si terminan en, si se pronuncia con ti, con ied o con t. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, la, okay. la complicación en los regulares está en la pronunciación, el spelling, el fácil. Y aquí el, lo que pasa es que cada verbo va a cambiar. Entonces aquí que ver eso, cuál es el pasado de cada uno. Pero eso poco a poco, despacio, ¿verdad? Pueden hacer tarjetitas como para andarlas poniendo, o canciones como la que les puse yo ayer, para que así despacio, despacio se lo van a aprender. ¿Verdad? Okay. Ahí estamos entonces. Porque bueno, siendo... Y creo que me lo llevo ya. Ok. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí, hoy sí, ya estamos. Vaya. Okay. So we have the first one, right? That is already done. Remember, B changes to was. Because I think I was interested in the product. Um, what about number two? You? You, you were you bought the eight in December. ¿Qué le falta? On oh. December. ¿Qué preposición oh. usamos con December? In December. In, in December. Yeah. You were bought oh, the item the last December. December. Mm -hmm. You can say last December, yeah, why not? Okay, number three. She he read the policies. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa policies? Políticas. Las políticas. Las políticas, exactly. Number four. The supervisor. Mm -hmm. Gave me a discount. Yes. The supervisor gave me a discount. Remember, present of gave, the present is give, right? Uh -huh. Okay, the supervisor gave me a discount. Number five. Number five. They. I sent the contract by my email. Mm -hmm. They sent the contract by my email. Oh, se me ocurre algo acá. Oh. 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 To my email. 
Sí, porque me lo enviaron a mi email, ¿verdad? Si yo digo by my email, sería como que mi email fue lo que usaron para enviar el contra. No me lo mandaron a mí, se lo mandaron a alguien más. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Entonces, tendría que ser más true. They sent the contract to my email. And number six. Key. He was disappointed. He was disappointed. Very good. Any questions here? Any questions? So far, no teacher. Bye. Fíjese. Acá tengo una propositions. Estas las van a ocupar ustedes en cualquier tiempo, ¿verdad? En cualquier tiempo. Las pueden usar en present, las pueden usar en past y las pueden usar en future. ¿Sí? Cuando hablamos de in on at. Entonces, así como en la oración anterior que dijimos in December. You bought the item in December. You can say, I will travel in December. Suponga que estamos en octubre, ¿verdad? Y usted dice, I will travel in December. I will start classes in January. Yeah. Uh, I'm going on vacation in May. Entonces, usted perfectamente puede usar las eh, in on a para hablar en presente, en past o en future, dependiendo de cuál sea el momento. Y lo que va a hacer la diferencia es, eh, es esto, es la expresión de tiempo, ¿verdad? O es la fecha, digamos. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice in the summer, si usted me dice, I enjoy going to the beach in the summer, present. Pero si usted dice, I painted my house in the summer. Painted, ya el verbo me lo dice, que su oración está en pasado. ¿Verdad? I painted the house in the summer. O si usted dice, I will travel to the United States in the summer. Entonces, no importa, no importa en qué tiempo usted está hablando, pero estas preposiciones se mantienen y chequen. Cuando ocupamos in, vamos a ocupar in to talk about seasons. Las seasons son nosotros, nosotros aquí en El Salvador conocemos winter and summer. Un medio año es winter, medio año es summer, ¿verdad? Y recuerdo cuando yo era niña y en entonces, el winter terminaba en septiembre, ¿verdad? Y en octubre, justo el 1 de octubre, empezaban los vientos y empezaban los niños a volar. Escucha, ya que una semana de octubre íbamos a la escuela y salíamos de vacaciones. ¿Sí? Bueno, some of you remember that. So, we say in the winter, ahí estábamos ya, octubre, in the summer. Son popo de mayo, mayo, in the winter. But in the United States, you don't have only summer, only winter. There you have fall, or autumn, como le quiera decir. And you have spring. Nosotros acá tenemos, eh, digamos, fall, medio de... Summer, que es cuando los árboles botan las hojas. Y spring, metido aquí en medio del winter, que es cuando las plantas florecen. Right? But we don't have a defined season for fall and spring. But anyway, if you go to the United States, or if you talk about some country that have the four seasons, you can also say in the fall, in spring, in spring. In the fall, cheque que a spring no le pongo de. In the fall, ¿verdad? In the fall, in spring. 
To talk about seasons, I use in. To talk about the years in 2020, in 2023, in 2025, in 2001, we're talking about years. Talking about just the year, I use in. If I talk only about the month, I say in, in May, in December, in April, in July, in September. So with the month of the year, I use in. And with some parts of the day also, I use in. I say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, right? In the summer into 2020, in May, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. These are the three parts of the day that I use with a. No night, yo no digo in the night, right? I cannot say in the night. We say at night, you see? No, in the night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. I work in the morning. Yeah. I work in the afternoon. I work at night. I don't say I work in the night because it's not possible. Now, when do I use the preposition on? I use on with the days of the week, on Sunday, on Friday. On Saturday, on Tuesday, see? on any day of the week, I use on. And we're talking about holidays, I'm going to use on. On vacation, on Father's Day, on Christmas. A menos que esté usando inglés británico, iba a decir at Christmas. ¿verdad? Pero si es inglés americano, yo no sé, on Christmas. On New Year's Eve. On New Year's Day. New Year's, New Year's Eve, el 31 de diciembre. New Year's Day, el 1 de enero. So, check the difference. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. And if I'm giving a complete date, check it. Si yo solo digo el mes, digo in, in May. Pero si yo ya voy a decir la fecha completa, yo digo on May 10th. No in May 10th, on May 10th. Porque ya estoy dando una fecha completa. On July 15th, 2020. ¿Sí? On July 15th. Fecha, on. Solo el mes, in. Solo el año, in. Solo el día, on. Ok. Now, if we are going to talk about here, right? I have on Sunday, y quiero decir Sunday con una parte del día, yo voy a decir on Sunday, Ya saben que con una parte del día decimos o in o at, dependiendo de la parte del día, ¿verdad? But I will say on Sunday. Cuando yo hago esta expresión así completa, I will say on Sunday morning. No digo on Sunday in the morning. ¿Ok? On Sunday morning. On Friday Evening. Hey, see you on Friday. See you on Friday evening. See? See you on Friday evening. No digo on Friday in the evening, ¿verdad? 
see you on Friday night. No Friday at night. ¿Sí? Si yo voy a hablar de un día así en específico, de un tiempo específico, de una parte del día, digamos, no ocupo el in de acá ni el at, ¿verdad? Hey, see you on Sunday morning. See you on Friday evening or see you on Friday night. ¿Sí? See you tomorrow night. No digo tomorrow at night. O tomorrow in the evening. No, tomorrow evening. Yesterday afternoon. Yesterday morning. No digo yesterday in the morning. Entonces, siempre que la parte del día vaya unido a otra expresión, se le va a omitir eso. ¿Ok? Vaya, now, when do we use at? I use at with the time, right, with the hours. I say at 8 o'clock. I get up at 8 o'clock. I start classes at 8 o'clock. I have dinner at 7.30 p.m. So with the hours, I use at. With some parts of the day, que no son estos, yo ocupo at. So I say at noon, at night, at midnight, at lunchtime. Yeah? When do you go shopping? At lunchtime. When do you take a nap? At lunchtime. When do you go to bed? At midnight. Yeah. When do you have lunch? At noon. Mm -hmm. So we say at. Any questions so far here? Any questions? No questions. No teacher. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Now, let's move to the book. I tell you, I guess it's page 31, but let me check. Yeah. In the book, page 31, you see the conversation, right? Let's read the conversation. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Do you use it? Yeah, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Okay, now you repeat after me. Can you tell me more about your experience? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because... It wasn't so nice... Yeah. It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. The agent didn't, didn't, didn't agent give me a confirmation number. confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. He didn't even send, he didn't a, even receipt. send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? Do you remember the agent? Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Actually, he no, didn't say his don't. name. Actually, Actually, I think he didn't yeah. say his name. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. My apologies. 
My apologies. My apologies. My apologies for that. My apologies. My apologies for that. And what about our product? And what about our and product? What about our product? Yes, Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. It wasn't easy. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. so easy. But I called another agent again. But I, but I, called, I called another, another agent, agent again. again. He was so considerate. He was so, he was so considerate. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. His name, His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. And he explained, and he explained his... everything to me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now you're going to practice the conversation and complete this exercise, right? Related to the conversation chain. You're going to read it, practice it with your partners, and then you write the activities that happen and the ones that didn't, right? The activities that happen and the ones that didn't. So you write here what things are affirmative, the things that happened will be here, and the things that didn't, like he wasn't kind, he didn't say his name, and those things in negative will be here. Okay? Well, remember you are on page 31 in your manual? So, I'm going to send you, I'm going to do the make groups. Hey, we are almost complete today. Nice. I'm going to recreate the groups. Mm -hmm. There you go. Join, join. Remember, practice the conversation and then you complete it. Darling, Bella. Hello. Hi, Waldemar. Is Sabrina here? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Sabrina, por aquí. Sabrina, Sabrina, hello. Nice, that was great. Okay, entonces, en esto... The teacher, I can practice the conversation. Sí, first practice the conversation and then you complete the chat. Okay, y en la parte de abajo, escribir las actividades, lo que es did y lo que es que didn't, que sería exactly. eso. Related to the conversation, exactly. Ay, okay. Entonces, Waldemar, si gusta, comencemos. Okay. Bueno, entonces voy a comenzar yo si gusta. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a re receipt for what about. 
Do you remember the NJ's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kidding. Can. My apologies Can. for that. And what about our products? Could you see it? Could you use it? Yes, I'll call. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so he was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay. Ahora si gusta con usted, yo le sigo. Okay. Uh, can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. Uh, I want about your product. Could you use use? Yes, it? yes, I could. It. Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called a number ranger again. He was to consider it. Consider it. I think so. Myself. His name has Romeo. And he's explaining everything to me. Hi, classmates. Hola, compañeros. Hola, Sabrina. How are you? Sorry, que estoy teniendo un por, un, unos problemas aquí con la cámara. Pero aquí estoy. <laughs> que me preocupe. Si gusta, preocupemos. <laughs> ok. Si gusta, comienza usted. Bye. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so right because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't everything I received for that I about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't safe, but I called another agent again. He was considered, his name was Romero, and he explained everything. Uh -huh. to okay. Si quiere ahora cambio, pero si quiere Waldemar que lo haga con ella, con Sabrina. Okay. Man. Yo sería Emma. Yes. Eh, yo empiezo. Eh, can you tell me more? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send me a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He, he wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about your product called use? Use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Ok. Ok. Vale, si gusta, creo que hagamos lo de abajo. Solo que eso no lo entiendo mucho, teacher. ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? Vale, cheque. Si las oraciones son afirmativas, eso significa que es filo is. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y si son negativas, es que no lo es. Por ejemplo, si usted dice. He didn't say his name. He didn't give me a receipt. 
¿Eso a dónde iría? ¿En las cosas que hizo o en las que no hizo? Things he didn't. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok. Ok, entonces aquí en didn't sería que vaya um, confirmation number. Uh -huh. Ajá. Confirmation number. Ese sería que no lo hizo. Ajá. También, also the receipt. He didn't send the receipt. ¿Cuál sería el otro? El receipt. Uh -huh. Receipt. 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 Uh -huh. Solamente eso. Solo receipt. And says his name. He didn't say his name. His name. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Ya practicamos el diálogo, solo estamos. Completando. Ajá, completando el cuadro. Hello, teacher. Hi. Estamos, tenemos un poco de dudas acerca de la parte de, ah. del uso del de, Ok. No yeah. sabemos si eh, lo, lo podríamos usar en las oraciones que van con voz. O, por ejemplo, en una parte donde habla luz que dice... Do you remember the agent's name? Do Sería, you did you remember? Mm, no, va a escribir afirmativo o negativo. ¿Qué cosas hizo y qué cosas no? Ah, qué Pero, cosas hizo. Okay. ¿Qué, cosas, que... pa ¿Qué cosas pasaron y qué cosas no pasaron? Yeah. Y el was está relacionado con did. No, no, pero lo pueden usar también, no pasó. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, quiero ver. He wasn't, it, he, it wasn't so nice. The experience wasn't nice. No pasó que fuera buena. ¿eh? Then you say, the, the experience wasn't so nice. Ay, bien, nosotras agarramos la otra. The agent didn't give me a confirmation number. Lo que no hizo. No Ajá. le dio el número de confirmación. Exacto. He didn't say his name either. Right? No le dijo el nombre. Ajá, también. Y say? también, he didn't say his name. He didn't say his name. Yeah, his name, no his name. He didn't say his name. Ajá. Va, sobre esas tres tenemos de las que nosotros hemos visto que no hizo. Exacto. Pero de la que hizo es la que tenemos dudas con esa acción, con el did. Ajá. Que solamente le entiendo yo al final a Eva que llamó otro agente y que él sí fue considerado y le explicó todo. Exacto. Exacto. Es, pero lo que le va a poner ahí es qué pasó y qué no. ¿Verdad? De algo que no pasó. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice eh, he didn't say his name, eso iría en la parte donde dice didn't, en la parte negativa. Uh -huh. He wasn't kind. Igual, en esa parte en negativa. Aunque no esté usando didn't, pero es negativo. Entonces va a ir allí en ese lado. He wasn't kind. Entonces, eh... En, en did podríamos poner como, como dice Kelly, he was so considerate. He was so considerate, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. He was so considerate. 
he gave me the information for you. So he helped me. Get my facts. I called another agent. Right? All those things that will be in affirmative, you put them in there, in affirmative. Any other question? He was. He was. No, teacher. No, no estamos. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. He was so considerate. Ese solamente una ahorita. He was. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, he was so, so considerate. Cabal, es que lo que yo le preguntaba, si did con was, podríamos. Sí, lo puede. Did el was. El did for was. Eh, no. Lo puede, pueden poner las oraciones con was también allí. ¿Verdad? Pero no le cambian no. nada. Por ejemplo, si usted, ¿qué es lo, qué es lo que no pasó? Usted dice, he was in kind. ¿Verdad? Donde van a ir las oraciones negativas. Ahí le han puesto dasen. Como cuando usted le dice... Ah. Eh, los dos and don'ts, ¿verdad? Que usted las negativas las pone en don'ts y las afirmativas las pone en das. Entonces aquí va a ser lo mismo, la única diferencia es que van en pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces las cosas que pasaron las ponen en din y las que no pasaron las ponen en din. Ahí va a poner todas las oraciones negativas en din. Okay. Hoy sí. Es que siempre tengo duda de sí, ti. Ajá, pero. Ajá, pero o sea, no, en el... no lo van a cambiar, oye. Porque, por ejemplo, las oraciones que hay en la conversación están con was, las van a dejar así con was. Solo las van a escribir en, en las columnas. Imagínense usted que en vez de dir, dice afírmate. Y en vez de Diden dice negativo. Eh, Podría ser un afirmativo cuando Luz le dice que si se, que si va por aquí en call you use it, que si va a usar que si la pudo usar. el producto. Que, que si, si la pudo, pudo usar. Que si pudo usar y el eh, producto. Ajá, Eva le dice, yes, I could. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, y en D diría... She could use the product. ¿Verdad? I called another agent. I could use the product. He was nice. Todo eso iría en la parte de did. En afirmative. She could use the product. He could use the product. No se preocupe, Miguel, de que no están usando el didn't en la oración, sino que sí. donde dice didn't, lo que quiero es una oración negativa. Y donde dice did, quiero una oración afirmativa. No importa si ocupa el verbo to be en esas oraciones. Entonces, en ah, pues. podríamos poner también he, he explained everything. To me. Ajá, he explained everything to me. Exactly. Eso iría en did. También la primera, Tamara y don Miguel, sería la primera afirmativa. Eh, she, she tell more about your experience. Ella le contó su experiencia. Fue lo que hizo, fue, ah. lo, fue lo positivo. Ajá, exactly. Sí, entonces sería she tell you. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh.
¿Y lo que usted dijo, Tamara? Eh, he está en el último párrafo de Eva. He explained. Ah, everything. He explained everything to me. He explained everything. Él, le expli él sí explicó todo. Uh -huh. Él sí le explicó todo. todo, todo. He explained everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Una negativa. Uh, tomando en cuenta lo que dice la seña de que no precisamente toda la, la oración ay eso me va a pagar esto que no fue amable Tamara también uh -huh. uh -huh. he wasn't kind he wasn't kind He wasn't kind. Okay. He wasn't kind, yes. Ahí. Y la otra negativa sería también It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. Ah, de está hablando de la experiencia, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. It was in Creo que estamos, ¿verdad, Titi? ¿Mm? Creo que ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Sí. It was in Yo creo que ya están. Ahí ya sacaron todo. Y pusimos la de amable. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just checking one group and I call you, okay? Yeah, yes, I do, but... Are you done? Hello. Hi. Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. teacher. This is five. You finished, right? Ready, teacher. Okay. This yes. group ready. Hey, let's go then. A ver si salimos bien. Missing some of you. Mm -hmm. oh, teacher, uh, in my group, uh, I think uh, the deed, the Eva called another agent. Okay. She called another agent. Uh huh. What else? She called another agent. Mm 
Uh -huh. What else? El, the second, the Romeo explained everything. The to me. Okay, next. What else? En DIT, en nuestro grupo solo esas encontramos y luego nos pasamos al DIRENT. A DIRENT, but you don't have a DIRENT. En, no sé, Teacher, en el grupo de nosotras, she used the product. Ok, she used the product. Very good, she could use it, right? Uh -huh. She used the product. Nosotros tenemos que ser si was considered. She was considered. was considered. Anything else here? No more. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about in didn't? Negative? It wasn't tight. He wasn't kind. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he didn't say his name. Nice. He didn't say his name. Uh -huh. What else? What else? It was he didn't, he didn't teacher. He didn't even seen even Sam re, uh, receive your uh, no I received for what a uh, bow. Okay, he didn't even send a receipt. Uh -huh. It was in Ket, Tamara? It, it wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. Very good. It wasn't kind and he wasn't so nice. Okay, what else? What else didn't happen? Um, the last teacher, um, the agent didn't give a confirmation number. The agent didn't give a confirmation number.
I'm going to abbreviate here. Confirmation. A confirmation number. Right. Uh huh. What else? One more thing. Oh, no. It wasn't so easy. It wasn't so easy. And we complete the idea, right? It wasn't so easy to use the product. Uh -huh. It wasn't so easy to use the product. Very good. Any questions here? No question? No. But of course, I'm going to share with you what I have written. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, she bought a product. Yes. She called another agent. The agent was considerate. He explained everything to her. And on the other side, uh, the experience wasn't so nice. The agent didn't send me a confirmation number. He didn't say his name. He didn't send me a receipt. And he wasn't. Okay. That's a, what I have written. Okay. Any questions so far? Questions? No question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to call uh, to catch your attention here. Check. Didn't send. Remember when we are using the, the simple past in affirmative? You put the verb in past, but like go, she bold, she explained. But when we are using the negative, we use the auxiliary didn't, and the verb will be in the base form. He didn't say. He didn't send. Right? That's how we are going to use this structure. So check. I didn't receive. The verb will be in the base form. You didn't send a contract. He didn't say his name. She didn't fall again. We didn't buy. No, we didn't buy. So we have the auxiliary, right? The auxiliary plus the verb in the base form. That's the base form of the verb. With no conjugation. Okay? So all you do is use the auxiliary and put the verb in the same, in the simple or base form. When we use the verb to be, we only add the contraction, not. You can say was not. I was not interested. Or you can use the contraction and say it wasn't interested. You were not called or you weren't called. He was not kind. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. The people were not helpful. They were not online or they weren't online. So check. We use the contraction normally when we're speaking, right? When we write, we tend to use more the complete form. And when you are using the complete form in the in the speaking to, is when you want to emphasize more. I was not interested, right? You were not called. 
he was not kind. So you want to emphasize something. So when you want to be emphatic, right? You want to emphasize something, you use uh, the sentence with no contraction. I don't know if you have any question here. Question. Mm -hmm. No question? No. Okay. Okay, look at these examples. You say, you didn't eat meat for lunch, right? Repeat, I didn't eat meat for lunch. I didn't eat meat for lunch. I for ate chicken. I, I, I ate, ate chicken. I, I ate, ate chicken. chicken. I didn't go to the movies last Sunday. I, I didn't, didn't go to the movies, go last, to Sunday. The movies last Sunday. Last, I okay. went to the supermarket. I went, I went to, the, to supermarket. the supermarket. I didn't read a book. I didn't, I didn't read, read, a book. read a book. I saw a movie. I, I saw, saw a movie. movie. I didn't go to the park today. I'm going to work. I didn't, I didn't go to the, go park, to the today. park today. I went to work. I went to work. I didn't drink wine. I drank coffee. I, I didn't, didn't drink wine. Drink I, drank wine. I drank coffee. I didn't do her homework. She I didn't, didn't do her homework. homework. She didn't do her homework. Her homework. She didn't do her homework. She didn't do her didn't homework. Do her homework. They didn't eat their food. They didn't they eat didn't their food. They, they didn't eat their food. They didn't eat their they food. He didn't paint his house. He didn't, he didn't paint his house. He slept all the afternoon. <laughs> he slept all the afternoon. He slept all the afternoon. He slept all the afternoon. Okay, so here you can see the difference, right? Between using the negative and the affirmative. In affirmative verb in past, in negative verb in present, auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, still a little too much. Mm -hmm. No question. Vaya, pues, let's go to it. the last exercise in the manual. Let's see, I'll tell you what page it is. Um, Page 32, right? Page 32. Complete or rewrite the sentences using negatives. I'm satisfied with my laptop. Now you have to write that in negative. Page 32. If you don't have the book in your hand, you can write it in your notebook, right? That's okay.
Be let me know whenever you're ready. Sí. Sí, hay el trap. Ah, no está subiendo, ver qué onda, a dónde era eso. The number one teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. what's number one? Um, I was satisfied with my laptop. In negative. Eso sería, ah, in negative. Uh -huh. I wasn't. I was perfect. I wasn't satisfied with my Ay, perdona mi apóstrofe que mi compu ha sido ti. <laughs> uh -huh. Marta, Marta wasn't wrote a letter to her boss. Yeah, right. Negative, eh, ¿qué auxiliar usamos con los otros verbos? Eh, baseball. Mm. Chequen qué auxiliar usamos en negative cuando estamos usando otros verbos. Marta didn't. Didn't, didn't. Baseball. Ver in the baseball. Exacto. And you say Marta didn't, ¿qué? Right, right, right. Marta didn't boss. write. Yes, Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Nice. What about number three? We oui, we. Oui. We are so happy with the full service. We were so happy. We are dear. We, we. we weren't did. not, weren't. We were. We weren't. So happy with the food service. Mm -hmm. We weren't uh, so happy with the food service. Me salió mal, teacher. Okay. Ahí se van a ir acostumbrando, poquito a poco. Me puse acostumbrando. en pasado, happy. Ah, pero happy es un adjetivo. <ríe> Me equivoqué. Tío. Acuérdense que el verbo to be se ocupa con adjetivos, ¿verdad? Que aquí el que cambia es el verbo. Se me va a apagar eso. El adjetivo se queda igual. Me encantó. Ok, what about number four? Pedro and me. Pedro. 
Pedro. Pedro and me weren't were were drive to the company. ¿Qué, qué auxiliar usamos? Didn't. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't drive. Pedro and me didn't drive. Exacto. O Pedro and I tendría que ser de la profesión. Yes. Didn't drive. Acuérdense que es Susana. Cuando el verbo es el verbo to be, solo lo ponemos en pasado y en negativo. Pero cuando usted está usando cualquier otro verbo, no puedo usar el verbo to be como sí. En ese caso, tengo que usar didn't. Y el verbo va a ir en presente. ¿Verdad? Sí. Didn't. Y el verbo en presente. What about number five? The principal sends many emails. The principal didn't send many emails. Uh -huh. The principal. The principal didn't send, didn't send, send, didn't send, didn't send many emails. Didn't send many emails. Very good. The principal didn't send many emails. What about number six? The program. The program wasn't oh, too slow. Uh -huh. The program wasn't so slow. Yes. Any question here? Um, mm -hmm. No question. By now is your time. You turn to work. In the bedroom. Right? I'm going to share with you one thing. And what you're going to do is enter the link and write the sentence in the negative. I'm going to paste it in the chat and the WhatsApp chat. Yeah. So check. Say, didn't go. I didn't go to the movies. She didn't play tennis. We didn't cook lunch. We didn't travel. ¿Verdad? La auxiliary didn't con cualquier verbo. Tengo que el verbo tú. Y yo ocupo el verbo to be con adjetivo, happy, I was happy, I wasn't happy, I wasn't busy, I wasn't interested, they weren't cool, they weren't nice. Yo ocupo el verbo to be con adjectives, they were students, they were at home, con nouns y con places. Pero si lo que tengo es otro verbo, Lo que yo necesito ocupar es el auxilio de tiempo, ¿verdad? En este caso, didn't, porque es negativo. Vamos, go ahead, enter the link, write the complete the sentences, right, with the negative form. Y cheque que si tiene alguna duda, allí a la par está el, el, la opción de check. I'm going to call attendance while you work and you tell me present. Bella Lisbeth. Bella. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Darling Jasmine. Present teacher. Denis Adonai. Edgar Eduardo. Present. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Herman Agustín. Present. Jessica Raquel. Present teacher. Carla María. Present. Kelly Marcela. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Kelly. Marcelo Vladimir. 
Present teacher. Mauricio Giovanni. Miguel Present. Present. Present teacher. Yes. Miguel Efraín. Eh, present teacher. Amigo, present, ¿verdad? Moisés yes. Díaz. <laughs> present teacher. Ok. Norma Maritza. Present teacher. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Pedro. Ronald Josué. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Tamara Vela. Present teacher. Waldemar Alexander. Present teacher. Walter. No se va a quedar conmigo, ya le voy a decir, no se va a quedar How are you doing? Come on, let's pass. If you have a doubt, remember, eh, dele click and check. Verdad, si usted dice, oops, estará bueno, no estará bueno, dele click and check. And you see then if it is or not. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been here. See you, see you, and Ahí los dejo, ¿verdad? Con, con la practice. Good night, teacher. Good night, take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good, night. good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.